And welcome back to season 43 of the Pichu London Cup Series. And today, we're at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course for the running of the Verizon 200. And for the first time ever, we're running this road course race with a full 42 car field. We have never done a full field before at this racetrack, but finally someone has made it possible um, to run a full 42 car field at the Indy Road Course. And I'm so so thankful for that, for them, for making this possible, having every car, a full forward two car field to fit in one race here at the Indy Road Course. It's sure going to be an exciting one from start to finish. It's the first time we have one race for all at the Indy Road Course. So here we go. We're moments away from the green flag for this historic race. On the pole will be the five of John Andrews. On his outside is the 21, Connor Breton. Alex Hawkins and Maxwell Smart are in row two. Giovanni Castillo, Coda Butcher in row three. And Pichu is making his return to the series, running alongside Nicky Maxwell in row four. And Allison Rain and Ryan Durani round out the top ten. And here's the look at the rest of the starting order here in today's race. Last weekend, we were at the Glen, which came down to overtime um, at Watkins Glen International. And our winner was a first-time winner, Matt Gomes. He took home the checkers for his first career win at Watkins Glen, and it came down to overtime um, for, the number, for the number 38 car. So what a race for that team, and what a job well done for them, as they are in front right now in the... Um, in today's race and I'm looking for the other part-timer oh yeah Joseph Romanuk I uh, accidentally passed him but Joseph Romanuk is in this race as well as a the other part-time driver in this field a full 42 car field and it'll be the first ever 42 car field at Watkins Glen or, I mean sorry Indianapolis road course so green flag about to come out here at Indy our winner last weekend was of course our winner last weekend the Glen was Matt Gomes and he's starting in the back of the pack today. But he did get his first career win and it shakes up the playoff field with a few races left in the regular season. After this it's just gonna be three more races until we get our playoff field set. Will we <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Will we see another winner here today at the road course? We're about to find out. And we're moments away from this historic race here at the Indianapolis road course. For the first time ever, it is a full 4-2 car field at this racetrack. All cars competing. All 40 and then two part-timers with Pichu and Joseph Romanuk. Full 4-2 car field, a first here in the Indy road course. And now here we go, the green flag is out underway at the Verizon 200 at, at the Indianapolis Road Course. Oh, look at the drivers going outside and now they're crashing each other. Oh, big crash on the first lap with the leaders. Oh, man. Big crash on the first lap with the leaders. Oh, my goodness. Connor Breen around again. Oh man, what a start to this race. Oh. Oh boy. Three wide. They're still going three wide. Oh man, this is not built for three wide racing. This is definitely not built for three wide racing, and yet they're still taking a chance in the wide, wide turns. Oh, what a wacky start to this race as Nikki Maxwell is able to lead. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is insane. 
That's a crazy start to this race. You saw all those drivers wrecking on the first lap. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was just a little shocking there. A little shocked at the result, but Nicky Maxwell is in the lead. Here comes Pichu. In the 88 car, there's Pichu. Well, he's going on the bottom. Is he going to make the run on the final corner trying to get Nicky Maxwell? They're racing to the line. But the 96 is able to hold him off, and Nicky Maxwell will lead to the caution. Oh, what a messy start to this race. Oh, Quinn Moore's out of this race. And we're back to the green instantly. And there you see all the other cars out of this race already. Oh, that is some... That's a crazy jump. Crazy. That's crazy. And what is going on here? I could have sworn they started the green flag and now they aborted the start. And where's the pace car? It's catching up and wow, I don't know what was going on there, but <laughs> another caution. Like all of a sudden they were just about to start they're just about to do the restart, then another caution pops up. Yeah, uh, wait, what what just happened? What in the world just happened? That is... Wow. I don't see anybody spinning, so what could be the caution? Is it Maxwell Smart slow on the slow on the track? No, that can't be right. I don't see anybody slowing on the track. Um... Wow. I, I have no clue. I have no clue what could have caused this caution. That that's just bizarre. That I don't know if they missed missed a couple. They missed debris somewhere or what? I don't know. But we're gonna have another few caution laps added here at Indy. Um, wow. I have I have I don't think I've ever seen any caution like this before. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> that is re that's bizarre. They're gonna run another caution lap. They're just trying to be safe here. That. That is weird. That is really weird. Um, let's hope we don't have that again. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. So, um, five cars are out of this race, I thought I mentioned. So, yeah, I don't know why that last caution came out. No one spun. I think there was debris that they missed or what. I don't know if they were not lined up correctly. They had to take another few caution laps. Anyway, we're going back to the green flag. So here we go again. Back to the green at Indy. Nicky Maxwell, 11 to go in front. See those cars in the back? They haven't caught up with the other pack. I don't know why that is. Oh, that's that is just bizarre. Never noticed that before. And now Maxwell has hanged on to the lead, and they're gonna stay green. So right now it's pretty clean. Okay, so we're back to racing for real this time. And Maxwell and Pichu are going to battle for the win here. Top two have pulled away. Look at Joseph Romanuk in a part-time role here in this race is running third. Oh, he could win this race. Oh, boy. Romanuk, he's a former PLCS champion. He's now running a part-time schedule, but he could still win in that 66 car. He's splitting... Uh, the ride with Cullen Francis in this season, another former champion. So, we could see a surprise winner here at Indy. But defending series champion Nicky Maxwell in front after a crazy first lap. Yeah, it was an intense first lap there with the leaders spinning out. Uh, just really weird and it was just wacky, very wacky. But Nicky Maxwell hangs on, is going to lead. 10 to go here at the Brickyard. Might not be over yet. Here comes Pichu. Is he going to look going to look low? Let's see if he can make a pass. And is not quite there yet. Maxwell got the better run on that corner. 96, better run on that corner for... The 96 team, they got a better run in the corner. Pichu just trying to hang in there. He's just, he's trying to find an opportunity to make a move. 
There's Nile O'Hare. Uh, he has moved up to fourth position. So Nile O'Hare is up to fourth. And he's still the only stored Haas car without a win this season. And he is looking for that first win. Man, he's hungry to get that win. Trying to get all four stored Haas vehicles in the playoffs. And he has been so close to winning. He's trying to make this his day today. But he's got a long way to go. He's got a very long way to go to before he can make an imp. He can take the lead away so a lot of thing a lot of things have to go in his favor for him to make that for for him to win this race peachy is getting closer it seems that this corner is the best corner of all the tracks he seems to be the bet he seems to be at his best when he's at the final corners but is it going to be enough for him to catch up and make the move on maxwell Nine to go at the Brickyard, and there you see Matthew Buss going for fifth position, but just not able to make the move on the nine car of Nathan Ormond. Ooh, look at 96 go on that first corner. I mean, the first corner has been the best corner for the 96 to pull away. And it, this been, it's been making it all the difference here, but Pichu has just been right on her tail. And Pichu has had experience, a ton of experience on the road courses. So look out for him because he might still strike back. This is, I mean, Pichu has won a handful of events on road course races. He's been a master of the road courses. And he is not, he's going to try to take the win away and try to pull off a stunner in a part-time role in, the, in that 88 machine. Here we go, halfway home with eight laps to go at the Indianapolis Road Course. Here comes Pichu again. This is where, this is his best corner. Ever so close, but just not able to make that move work for the nine, for the 88. And 96 has done a phenomenal job at the block. Just eight to go. See if the 96 can hang on. This is her best corner in turn one. This is where she's been pulling away against Pichu. Oh, well, she has pulled away a little bit, but not as much as before. Pichu has stayed right on, right on her tail. Man, Pichu is hungry for this win. Man, he is right on the bumper of the 96. All it takes is just one mistake at this point for the 96 to slip up and have Pichu in the lead. It looks like the 96 actually got a better run on that exit here on turns three and four. So Maxwell right now, for now, she's hanging on. But she better um, watch her back because Pichu is approaching quickly. And Joseph Romanuk is running third behind them. So Romanuk might be able to strike. These, if these two make a mistake in front of him, Romanuk might be able to strike and make his move. This is the best corner for Pichu. But this time, though, Maxwell has been able to hang on this time around. So Maxwell has done a great job at hanging on. She is, a def she is the defending series champion. And she is trying to get her first win of the season so that she can make it into another battle for the championship. I mean, 96 is hoping for a win again so that she can be back in contention for the title. Another championship could be for the 96 of Nikki Maxwell. She was the runner-up, by the way, at the Glen last week. So we saw how good she is at the road courses. Will she cross off another road course here at Indy? At Indy? Still a long way to go with seven laps remaining. It's been very calm since that first caution, and 96 is hoping that it stays that way. Niall O'Hare is running in fourth spot, but is only is four seconds back though, so I don't know if he's going to be able to gain on these three cars in front. It'll be tough. A lot of things have got to go in his favor. Almost a second ahead for the 96 over the 88 of Pichu. She's been very lucky on avoiding the first big crash at this road course 
and since then she has been able to stay in the lead. Only six, six laps to go. Almost a second. Now she's a full second and a half ahead of Pichu. So a full second ahead for the 96 of Nikki Maxwell. The two part-timers running second and third. I mean, you got to give a huge, huge, you got to give huge credit to the second and third place part-timers running in this field. An impressive job in the top five. Nile here running fourth. Could be another great points day, but now at this point, he needs a win to get in the playoffs. He knows he's going to have to work hard to get that win. Nathan Ormond already in, uh, already has a win this season. He's hoping to stay in the top 30. No, he has two wins this season, I should say, so he doesn't have to worry about the top 30 or anything like that. But he's trying to make the most of his opportunity here, trying to gain some extra points with a top five. As Nathan Ormond has two wins, and he's trying to make the most of his opportunity with a win. Stewie Moore runs sixth position right now, has yet to win this season. He's in the top 10, though. So he's doing pretty solid. Matthew Buss, he hasn't had any good luck since he won at the Daytona 500. He's looking to change all that in the next couple races. And the rest of the top 10, you see uh, Daniel Bouchard with a win. Allison Rain has a win. And Unleashed Quillies has um, a win, too. So he almost won Road America, believe it or not. But he ran out of gas on the final laps and just couldn't make it work. See if he makes it work against the 48 Allison Rain right on the bumper. Can he make that pass on the 48? Just not quite there. Or is he? He's going to try it. Turn one. Here he comes. Can he get the move on the 48? See if he, 48 gets the better run. Oh, 15 has got the better X and he makes it work. And the 15 is now up to ninth. What a move on the 15. Unleash your Quillies, ninth place. Makes the run on Allison Rain, and Rain is now down to 10th. And we have a caution. Oh, my goodness. With four to go, it's going to come down to the final laps. Let's see why the caution flew. Oh, no. Darian Town. Oh, man. What just happened? He just flew off and nearly over the hit wall wow that was a hard crash oh my goodness Darian town wow that is just insane oh my gosh he just nearly hit that barrier oh boy oh boy Darian town man my goodness what a crash what a crash Oh boy, that was hard into the wall. That is just really, that really was not supposed to happen. Oh my gosh. The caution's out. Oh boy, that is just insane. And now this changes everything. We'll see who's going to be out in front in the final laps. Two to go. Maxwell Pitts. Niall O'Hare stays out. Coming to two to go. And we told you that he needed a lot of things to go in his favor for him to win this race and now he has a great chance to win with two to go he's in the lead but does he have enough fuel is he gonna make it so we'll see if he makes it the leaders have to pit for fuel and I'm sure that some of these if not all of these drivers have to pit too in these final laps but who knows they could stay out and try to win this thing we're back to the green flag. Here we go again. Two laps to go at Indy. Hard crash. 15 has spun. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Wow. That is just insane. That was at the same spot Darian Town crashed in. Oh my gosh. Unleash your Quillies has crashed. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, that just, that should have not happened. That should have not happened, and they're going to abort this start. Oh, maybe that's what caused the last caution. And what is going on here? What happened here? Did they, oh my goodness, he got turned by the nine. 
Oh, wow. He got turned by the nine. That is... That's insane. Oh, my gosh. He got turned by the nine from the back. Okay. So, he has to pit. So, is he going to stay as the leader or does he have to get the fuel and tires? I think he might have to get the fuel and tires. And sure enough, he will. So, it's not going to count. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That... That is going to lead Nicky Maxwell as the leader again. I have no words uh, to describe what's been going on here. Wow. Alrighty, guys. We are now back, and they have made a decision on how to restart this race. This race will restart with two laps to go with a double file restart. But this will not be considered an overtime attempt. Because in the final two laps, they did not run a single lap um, under green after the green flag came out and the caution immediately was thrown because of Unleasher Quillies' crash. So they're actually going to restart in the order that it was before Unleasher Quillies' crash happened, with some exceptions, of course. Quillies will be in the back, and the drivers that retired before um, will also be starting in the back, but they will be back in the race to run the final two laps um, as if it was in overtime. And a lot of these drivers are not too thrilled about this decision, uh, especially Nicky Maxwell, who would have been the leader um, during, the last, during the last set when they took the um, end of the distance, when they had the finished distance. She would have been the leader when Niall O'Hare came to pit road. But they decided to restart with two to go have a double fall restart and almost pretend like it didn't happen like the wreck with unleash your quillies did not happen so they're going to restart as the order as it was before the um crash happened and niall o'hare therefore as you see will be leading the field down to the green flag so a very controversial decision by the officials for this one but we're gonna try uh to have a great race to have a great finish here at, at Indianapolis but again this will not be considered an overtime attempt it is actually just going to be a regular attempt except it's going to be with two to go no cautions and it's going to be a double file restart exactly how an overtime attempt would be in the PLCS but they're not calling this overtime so <laughs> just go with it as Niall O'Hare as you can see is leading the field down to the green flag and the 96 of Nikki Maxwell has to start in the 14th position uh, as she was before uh, during that restart with two laps to go. And the other drivers have been adjusted as well. Uh, we, they did the best they could to organize the field as it was during the restart with some exceptions, of course. There's the Unleasher Quillies will start 34th. He's actually coming back into this race and along with the others that have retired from the race early on. So here we go, folks. Final two laps here at Indianapolis. The restart is about to begin with two to go. And this time they're going to run it as a double fall restart. And again, one more time. This is not overtime, but they're going to try it again to keep it into the scheduled distance. So, yeah, just pretty weird ruling. But we're moments away from restarting the race with two laps to go and for real this time. Let's see what happens. Green flag is back out, two to go. Here comes the 10. Oh, crash already. Romanuk spins. Romanuk is around. Three wide. Bumper beating and banging. Here comes Matthew Buss. Oh man, side by side. Is Matthew Buss going to clear the 14? They're still wrecking. 10 car trying to clear his teammate. They're battling side by side. This is possibly for the win. 14 has the edge. Oh my gosh. It started off with some fireworks. Niall O'Hare is in front. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. There goes Niall O'Hare as he's going to take the white flag with one more lap around. Wow, he had a battle with his teammate Matthew Buss for the possibly the win. Now he's in the lead with one more to go. Oh boy, this is going to be the legit restart for real this time. And for the final time, they're going to go around here today at the Brickyard with one to go. 
a very controversial race and a very controversial finish. But here they come. Down the stripe for the final time. Nalo here has just got it. He's just cannot make a mistake at this point. He just cannot make a mistake. Matthew Buss, his teammate right behind him, though he wants to win again. He wants that second win to lock himself in the playoffs, even if it means he has to pass his teammate to do it. Man, Matthew Buss gave it one heck of a show on the first lap. He tried to get the lead away. He tried to pull off a shocker here today, but he just wasn't able to hold on, hold on over his teammate. But we'll see if that will change under the final half lap. Down the final corners, here we go. Will the 14 hang on the final laps? Down the final S's for the last time. Here comes the 14 of Niall O'Hare. This time though, he's gonna win for the first time in his career and all the stored off cars will have one win each. To the final corner. Niall O'Hare's gonna do it. His first career win comes at the Brickyard. Niall O'Hare is finally a winner in the PLCS. And what a win for the 14 team. Finally, they're back in victory lane. And the rookie has won again for the second, cons and a rookie has won. We have our second consecutive first time winner in the PLCS. Niall O'Hare wins it at Indy in a controversy-filled race. Oh, man, what a controversial finish. Oh, my goodness. It was just insanity at the Brickyard. Oh, boy. But Niall O'Hare gets the win in a race filled with controversy. It was just, it was just controversy from beginning to end. Man, Indianapolis always surprises me every time. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this race as Niall O'Hare is a winner in the PLCS. And now every all four stored Haas cars have at least one victory this season. I don't I think that has happened only about once or twice. I, I don't I don't know if it's ever I don't know if it's happened. I know it's happened like I think once or twice that one team with four cars each have one win each in those cars. Uh, I think that has happened only like once or twice, I believe, but they did it. Stored Haas, all four, at least one win. And Landon Smith Jr. and Matt Zach Fitzwater, they each have two wins this season. So that's four. This is uh, Daytona 5, and then the sixth win of the season for Stored Haas comes here today at the Brickyard with Niall O'Hare. In a controversial fashion, and Niall O'Hare, honestly... Should have probably not won that race, but it is what it is. Uh, it's the decision of the stewards, and we're going to have to go with it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this race, and we will see you next weekend at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Because uh, this was not a doubleheader weekend as it was planned, we have an extra uh, spot on the schedule, and that'll go to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. The return to Canada, folks. That sure is going to be a lot of fun, so you don't want to miss the return to Canada. Until then, we'll see you next time.